let me show you what we drove three hours today to get. So Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today has been a very long day. So I went into work about 2 p.m. in the afternoon and just got off at 4 a.m. Um, it is currently 4.45 in the morning. I'm heading home. Um, when I get home, I don't even know how much sleep I'm gonna get because we have a special, special video for you today. Hopefully it all turns out well and uh, goes smooth. But if it does, we have something pretty exciting in store for you. So stay tuned and uh, I'll let you know what we got going on soon. So see you around. All right guys, so a couple hours later and I am back up. Um, tried to get a little bit of rest. Didn't get a lot, but we uh, got something to show you. Hold up. This, thanks to a friendly neighbor um, letting us borrow this. We got this, which means we're going to get something today, but I'm not gonna tell you what, um, just cause we have a three hour drive to West Virginia to pick it up, but you will see, so stay tuned, but this is gonna be very handy. But before that, um, I'm not gonna really be able to update you on animals, I already took care of them this morning, but I will give you a quick rundown. The big ducks are just getting bigger, doing good. Um, still three of them left. The baby ducks, there's three of them, and they're doing good. Um, our two bunnies, are doing really well and all three goats are doing fine and eating everything um, and then all the chickens so far so good so we haven't had any issues since we've fixed up some little uh, different things for them but other than that I just got to fix this trailer get ready to go and uh, we'll see you on the flip side so stay tuned because it's gonna be exciting but just a little disclaimer you know how it is when you buy stuff from a marketplace or online or from strangers you just you know how it goes sometimes you might have a good thing sometimes it might be bad scam whatever so um i'm not gonna get anybody's hopes up it could be a scam could be not so great so let's hope everything goes well um but we'll see we will see tilly trixie and uh toby doing good by the way you all might have a buddy um coming soon so be ready your space might be taken up all right here comes logan in his half <laughs> down this big old steep hill in west virginia and they just creeping along we got houston back there hollering and we're not going bye bye yet buddy Wait till he makes it down this hill. He'll be coming right through there. And yes, that is a steep hill. That's where it came from. And there he comes. Should have the in the trailer. <laughs> All right, guys. So. We finally made it back. Let me show you what we drove three hours today to get. So we're back on the farm and we have our trailer. Let's show you what we got. We got a miniature horse. Okay, so we got this horse from the uh, people in West Virginia. Um, I don't know any really anything about it. Don't know how old it is. Um, don't know much about the health of it or anything, um, but we got it pretty cheap, um, paid two fifty for it, and uh, he's he's a pretty little horse there. We're gonna do the best to take care of him and get him in some good shape. Uh, I'm gonna put him over there with the uh, the goats and uh, try to separate him a little bit and let him get used to everything and see how he does. But we're gonna go out and get a lot more stuff for him, so I'll show you kind of all the stuff we get for him. But yeah, we got a little miniature horse. And uh, we don't have a name for him yet or anything. So if you have any ideas for a name, please put those in the comments below. Because um, we don't know yet. But we just got him. Got him back to the farm. I got to get him into the area. So that's going to be some work. But other than that, I'll let you say hi to him one more time. There's a better look at him. Um, 
<laughs> they cut his bangs. And so I'm not a huge fan of that, but he's a pretty little horse. Now we just got to go and uh, try to get him into the pasture. All right, guys, so we are over in the goat enclosure. Um, what I did was move the goats over with the chickens for now. Um, they're going to be over there until we figure out, well, for one, until they can get used to each other. Um, but until we can figure out the best way to do everything. Um, but right now, it was actually really easy to get him out. He uh, led really good with the rope. We got him into the field. Now we're going to go to Rule King and maybe track supply and buy some stuff for him. We're going to get him a halter and uh, a lead rope. And then we'll probably get him some other things. But yeah, right now he's doing good. So let me show you a quick update of him. And then we'll be heading out to go get him some supplies. Okay, so there he is over there munching on some leaves and grass. Um, like I said, they had a name for him. His name was Deuce, but I'm not 100% on that. So uh, if y'all have any ideas for names, put that in the comment section below. And uh, we'll be thinking of some too. Um, but don't mind the, the crazy haircut on him. We gotta, we gotta let that grow back out. <laughs> he is definitely a pretty horse. What are you doing? And try to hand feed him. Yes. Don't spook him. <laughs> like, no, not, today. not right now. Maybe later. He's so pretty. I know. I really wish they wouldn't have cut his hair like that. I <laughs> know. Silly. Alright guys, so we made it to the store. And uh, let me show you all that we got for the horse. We'll go into more detail later, but let me show you this. So we got some alfalfa cubes. Got the feed. Got another water trough for them. Shampoo conditioner. Some treats. Some brushes. We got the lead rope. The harness. Oh. The halters. And then we got a mineral block with the little mineral holder. So, so far that's what we got. We're still looking around and looking at options. All right guys, so uh, we're back at it again. It's another day. It got a little late and uh, dark to show you too much, but I got all the animals chilling around and uh, we'll give you an update of everything. But I know you wanna see the miniature pony. So we'll get to that one. But let me just give you an update of all the other animals because I got the goats running around being crazy. So let me show you them first. Then we'll get to what you want to see. Trixie being silly, walking on everything to get grass. Toby's being bad. He's trying to trying to push the stroller everywhere. And then oh Tilly is walking around eating. Let me go show you the ducks and what we've done with the ducks. So I've been I've been carrying the ducks from the storage building to the little area that we made them in this little wagon. We took it to the beach with us, so now I've just been using it on the farm to pull the ducks around. But I uh, made them this little fenced in area, put this little pool in there so we can put some water in it. And they're getting really big. These are the three that we had the first go around that uh, all survived and they're doing really, really good. Um, it seems like they're starting to shed some of their baby fur and, and uh, maybe starting to grow some feathers. So that'd be awesome to let them stay outside they're getting really big. Um, but yeah, so I, I made this little setup and I've been using the wagon there to pull it from the storage building all the way over here. But it's working and the ducks are out chilling. The goats follow me around, chilling, eating everything, being curious. But uh, we're gonna go and I'll show you the miniature horse over there. So let's get over there. What are you doing? You're not gonna jump for him like you do for me, huh? Houston's also out here with us. He's just, he's being fussy and trying to switch between me and me and Morgan. Look at him. Houston, what are you doing? You're bad, son. Anyways, here's the pony. We still don't know what we're gonna name it, but uh, I'm not. I'm not sure how I feel about the hairdo. <laughs> we got we we got, we got a lot of stuff to take care of this horse, and we're gonna spoil it pretty much. We got um, a little green salt thing there. We got a little salt block to go with it. Kind of showed you a little bit earlier, but we also bought this big hay uh, manger and grain feeder that we're gonna hang up somewhere in there. And then we have this water. We're gonna give back to the goats. Got him a new one, and so he's gonna be set up over here, but. There's actually a bunch of stumps over here, so we're going to build, and I'll show you in a second, but we're going to build, going to build a pasture 
on the other side of the storage building for the horse and then we'll build him a little shelter that's closed in that way he's out of the elements and away from the goats and the chickens and everything but speaking of the chickens let me show you them give you an update of them and we'll come back to the miniature horse because he's just awesome i've never i've never in my life had a horse and so i couldn't probably handle a big one yet so we started off small and got a miniature horse um we also feel like it's going to be good here with the animals, so we're going to take care of it, try to train it up to where Houston, which is not going to get you very far, buddy, but we're going to try to train it up to where he can ride him um, when he gets bigger, and we're also getting something else. Can't tell you what, but we're also getting something else to go with these animals soon, probably in October, sometime mid-October, but anyways, there's a little buddy. We still don't have a name for him, so um, if you got any ideas, put them in the comments below. And Houston's still being silly. Oh, oh, Morgan scared you, didn't she? But anyways, let me give you an update of the chickens real quick. So I had to put this little fence up here because I have the goats over there for now. So the horses are on this side, the goats are on that side. And uh, as you can tell, they've stood on top of the chicken coop. It was completely clean and now it's a mess. So I had to put this up because they were trying to jump on top of that and then out. So yeah, that wasn't working too well, but I'm going to... Put them over here, probably lock them outside for a little bit till we get the horse's uh, area over here built. But let me show you the chickens and then I'm going to show you the area we're going to put the horse eventually. So, yeah, so you can see where I put the goats over here. They didn't even eat last night because they just stood up here. But I got three of them roaming around seeing how they do. Um, cause just because I didn't want if they ran away or got killed or something, I didn't want them all to be gone. So I have most of them in there still doing good, making the a mess in there i don't know if it'll focus but making a mess then i got these three just running around outside of there what are you doing okay. <laughs> using you like that pony but anyways, that's an update of everything so far. Uh, the baby ducks are still doing good. I have them in the storage building. The rabbits are doing good. I'll go give you an update of them real quick before I show you the area for the horse. I'm the disaster. But um, in here is where we were keeping the big ducks. Got a mess. I got to clean that out. The rabbits are doing good. Fluffy as ever. Just running around. See if I can get one to... Not be too crazy. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? Doing good. And making a mess. We gotta clean theirs out too. And then the baby ducks are not really growing very much. I don't know why, but they're still tiny. These little guys are tiny. You can't even see that one. But yeah, they're tiny. So hopefully they'll start growing sometime soon. Well, this one looks like it's trying to get out. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. Where are you going there? Where are you going but anyways let me go show you the area for the the horse all right so on the other side of the storage building as you can tell there's no trees here um so we don't have to worry about stumps and stuff on this side so on the other side of this uh till so on on the other side of this little um side over here with the buildings this is where we're going to put the little pasture for the horse so it'll probably start alongside this side with the trees go up past those buildings probably where that tree standing right there was probably another 10 15 feet past it and then it'll come to the edge of this little thing that i made um level this ground side that i made level come up to the road here and then cut back across and back up we're going to be roughly a 25 by 25 little area and then i might use those buildings maybe i don't know they were going to be for chickens but i went on and just bought a coop so i might use those buildings to build the horse something or i might just build something different i don't know anyways let's go back to the miniature pony and finish today's video and then of course i'll give you more updates of all the animals and how everything's doing in the next video so let's get over there back over here with houston and morgan and the horsey so let's go in here and see how they're doing morgan's uh trying to get him used to her and brush all this nappy hair <laughs> what are you doing you see the horsey He's actually pretty, what's your problem? Hey, buddy. But he's actually pretty tame. I mean, I would have expected him to be a lot wilder than he is. 
He's, he does really good. Um, we haven't had any issues so far, but we're just taking it easy. Making sure he does all right with Houston and Morgan. I think Houston might be making him a little antsy because he won't calm down. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, that's all for today's video. <laughs> we got a miniature horse. Houston is not happy. Say, say, hit that like and subscribe button so I'll smile. Say it. But anyways, please hit that like and subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. And we will see you in the next video. What do you say? No, I'm not saying it. <laughs> what do you say, Houston? Say, say, peace.